Hi everyone, I am Susan Jacob and in this video I am going to discuss a little bit about the pre endothelial keratoplasty or the PDEC bubble. With the description of the pre layer by Prof. Harminder Dua, the cornea now is said to have six layers with the pre or the Dua's layer lying between the endothelium and desmus membrane on one side and the stroma on the other side. On injecting air into a corneoscleral rim, you can characteristically get different types of bubbles. This is the type 1 big bubble which is what comprises the PDEC graft and you can see that it has a very characteristic appearance as opposed to the type 2 bubble uh, which is what comprises the DMIC graft. So what you're seeing right now here is a type 1 big bubble and you can see that it's very well circumscribed and dome shaped as opposed to a type 2 or a DMIC graft which has more sloping edges and is larger. You can see that uh, this is a type 1 bubble and on peeling the desmets membrane off the type 1 bubble, the pre desmets layer is still intact and the bubble does not burst. It punctures only when you actually enter into the pre desmets layer as well. This ASOCT figure shows the difference between the PDEC graft and the DMEC graft. You can see the sharply elevated edges and the well circumscribed and the smaller size of the PDEC graft as opposed to the larger size of the DMEC graft which also has more sloping edges. The bursting pressure of the PDEC and the DMEC bubble are different. This is a type 2 DMEC bubble. You can see it starts from the periphery and enlarges to the other side and the bursting pressure is lower as compared to the PDEC graft which has a higher bursting pressure. So the PDEC graft if you really look at it is actually a reverse uh, unvers big bubble uh, which is uh, made for doing a deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty. It is exactly similar to that except that it's created with a corneoscleral rim facing upwards. Now there's also a type 3 bubble which is the mixed variant and you can see that's what is forming here. You can see a DMIC graft had started to form and suddenly a type 1 also forms and therefore there's a combination of a type 1 and a type 2 in the same corneoscleral rim and this is what is known as a type 3 big bubble. Therefore there are three types of big bubbles, type 1, type 2 and type 3. Now what are the advantages of a PDEC graft? One of the main advantages is that you can use younger donor eyes for creating the graft. This is a one year old donor graft which I am using and you can see that a type 1 big bubble has been easily formed. These are light microscopic images of the type 1 bubble which was created in a, a very young infant donor cornea. The star there shows the attachment site for the dua's layer in the peripheral corneal stroma and the small arrows show the broken dua strand which connects the posterior stroma with the desmets membrane. Here is a ruptured PDEC bubble and this shows that the PDEC graft also scrolls typically with the uh, endothelial cells on the outside and the desmets membrane and the uh, pre desmets layer on the inside. The second major advantage of a PDEC graft is its resilience or its resistance to tear and you can see that uh, that is a pre desmets layer which is trying to be torn and it just refuses to tear unlike a desmets membrane which is very fragile and can easily tear. So this table shows some of the comparison between DZEC, PDEC and DMEC. Even though the graft is more resilient and younger donor corneal grafts can be used as well as there is no induced hypropization in PDEC, there is still a learning curve and graft loss can happen. Do watch my techniques of endo eliminator assisted PDEC and air pump assisted PDEC to make PDEC surgery easy. I do hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much.